Thank you, Will. That's right. This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, this is going to be fantastic. We have Jan Faust Dane from Stock Culinary Goods joining us this morning. Good morning, Jan. Good morning. So nice to have you here. Thank you. It's we a delight to be here. We're chatting a little backstage before yeah. the show went on about what you're going to be doing for us here today. This morning, cast iron salmon with pay attention. Irish whiskey glaze. What made you want to do this for us today? Gee, well, <laughs> there was a very obvious peg, of course, it being St. Patrick's Day. I've already gotten some, um, you know, complaints because I'm not wearing green. I want you to remember that the other color in the Irish flag is orange. That's so right. So I am representing. But yeah, this is an Irish thing. It's also Friday during Lent. Absolutely. And so we got to go fish forward. I love it. Take us through the ingredients sure. you'll be working with. you bet. Um, this is a Faroe Island salmon. This is basically a sushi-grade salmon. It is delightful. I it, get it from uh, Tony's. It looks awesome. It's fabulous. Um, we've got a really high-grade whiskey, which is ridiculous. You don't cook with a really high-grade Irish whiskey, right? I you normally use, don't. You use, <laughs> you use the kind of like low-end stuff, and then you drink with that. But right. in this case, I want to cook with it because I don't know. I like I like beautiful things. Um, we've got a hot honey that's going in our whiskey glaze as well. That's a product out of Brooklyn from a kind of famous pizza shop there. They actually put it on their pizza, which is random. Awesome. We've got an Irish cheddar. We've got some farm to gold ghee, which is a ghee that is produced here in New England. Ghee, of course, is a clarified butter that has a higher smoke point, so you can really cook with it. It imparts a wonderful butteriness. It makes everything delicious. I tend to cook with ghee above all else. Oh, I've got some olive oil, though, too, because I like to use that as a finishing, so Fantastic. that's going to be delicious. And quickly, we'll learn more as the morning rolls yeah. on, but stock culinary goods, what do we need to know about you? Oh, my gosh. We are an independent kitchen store on Hope Street. We are obsessed with food and cooking. That's all we do is stand around and gab about food <laughs> and cooking and then sell you really interesting things. I mean, everything here from the ravioli pan to the sabatier knife to the Perfects grinder to the microplane, that's all available at stock. Oh, and my cast iron oh, produced you have it in Rhode all. Island. This works out very well. You're obsessed with cooking, I'm obsessed with eating, so it really is a win-win for everybody. We're gonna be everybody. good friends. You know, all we need is someone in a white shirt and we can recreate the Irish flag <laughs> right about now. We'll work on that. This is Jan Faust Dane. Thank you so much oh, for joining pleasure. us this morning. She is from Stock Culinary Goods. You don't want to miss this preparation process as the morning rolls on. For now, back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Jan's here, Stock Culinary Goods is here with us. She's got a great dish, but you know what we're talking about? All of the cool things that she's brought in, mm. and we're all fascinated. I don't know what it is. We're all fascinated with all of the pans and the cast iron pans that you brought in, because stuff like this not only makes the food taste better, but also makes it more fun to, to cook. I agree, and, and fun is fun, but there really is also a quality here. Yeah. You know, these are polished cast iron. You really don't see that anymore. There's a resurgence of polished, polished cast iron that kind of went away. Now we get this very pebbly texture stuff, but these are made in small foundries in America, mm -hmm. and they've, they're polished and seasoned beautifully. This one is made and designed by a RISD grad. So oh, really? he actually is promoting this for the first time now in Chicago at the Big House Race Show. We're the only retailer in Rhode Island to have it. Mm -hmm. It's called Nest, and it's a beautiful product. So he came out of RISD, and he's killing it with And that. all of these things, if you have one of these, this is something that you'll have. You can pass down to your kids. Oh. Your kids will cook on it. And the older it gets, the better it, the better it is for cooking. Cast iron is forever. There is never, well, there are very, very limited reasons right. to throw away cast yeah. iron. Actually, I've got one at home that's over 100 years old. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I use it all the time. Yeah. No, I use it all the time. It's fabulous. We can bring them back. There's just so many things you can do with it. But the bottom line is it, it creates such a wonderful cooking texture, as we're going to see with the salmon. Sure. I mean, it's just delightful. All right. The so salmon. the salmon doesn't take very long mm -hmm. to actually get, get going on, on one of these. And you're also going to make some... Uh, some raviolis too, I right? I am. I'm yeah. making some um, fresh pea ravioli. Now, of course, ravioli isn't exactly always equated with Irish, you know, <laughs> but this is Providence, and we are Irish, and we are Italian. You can do whatever you want. So I'm blending it. Sure. So we've got the bright greens uh, from the peas. Mm -hmm. We've got some little uh, micro greens kind of in our, sh you know, standing in for our shamrocks. Right. And uh, we've got some doughs that I created this morning. In fact, I'm still actively creating them, and we're going to roll that out a little bit later on. And this is really easy to do. <laughs> okay, all right, maybe she's a professional, no, I'm I don't know. No, it's totally easy to do. Okay, all right. and listen, if I can do it, I just own a store, you know. If I can do it, you can do it. you got a store with cool things. <laughs> don't sell yourself short. We will put this together, talk more about the store, try all of these good stuff that she's brought in for us today. Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning with Jan Faust Dane from Stock Culinary Goods. She is making, oh, if you just got here, let me enlighten you and tell you what she's up to today. Cast iron salmon with Irish whiskey glaze. 
this is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you've been hard at work in here. What have you been doing, Jan? I have been. Well, while the salmon is doing its thing, which is about a nine-minute process while it's getting all caramelized and delicious and awesome, all right. um, I am the putting together... The salmon's just kind of hanging out. The salmon's just hanging out, <laughs> back to the green room, yes. talking to the other fish. Yeah. Um, I am making a um, pea ravioli, and so we're doing it with a really cool tool. Very few people have seen a tool like this, and I'd really like for you to give it a shot. And I tell you... This ought to go well. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely um, stacked it kind of in a rough way too because this pasta dough is maybe not as fresh and young as the one I've been making this morning right. so we're gonna see if you're up to the challenge this of, doesn't look like a traditional roller no it doesn't and it's really cool it's called the repast it's made out of uh, maple and walnut and they're actually produced in I believe upstate New York possibly uh, Massachusetts cool and they're so simple that it's gonna blow your mind so I'm not even gonna show you I'm gonna have you start oh, no <laughs> famous last words by just using kind of the heel of your hand to push this along with some pressure and, not too hard because okay. there is a filling in here you don't want it to come squirting out the back never going back to that show again that <laughs> but guy then we'll do it again and then we'll do it again and I think you're gonna find do I go all the way like, Yeah, a lot of pressure though well, I mean but not too, not much, too but much yes exactly more pressure than that oh maybe. look it's like the look at that hey what just happened you see what's going on here kids all that ain't too bad pillows got produced. You did good. Oh, the end is a little... Uh... Well, that's just the nature of that dough. Right. Um, so we can blame the dough. We absolutely <laughs> always blame the product. And I'm going to reach over you here. All because... joking aside, it is cool. You can kind of see it coming together step by step. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I find it super fun. Do you want to play with the wheel? Just right through the... Roll it right on through. Right on through. <laughs> Again, with my pressure, not too much pressure. You need to do enough to cut it. Okay. <laughs> Which you did. Which you did. I have the strength of a 13-year-old. <laughs> but no, you got it. You got your uh, railroad tracks going there. there. Go. Your that zipper. Good? Yep, that's perfect. Mm, is it okay to anchor yeah. it down? Oh, yeah. Or? Oh, gosh. Food is ultimately uh, pretty forgiving. Everyone watching right now is just can't believe that I'm actually no, they're proud of leading you. a task in the roadshow kitchen. Now see if you can go uh, the other direction. All right. Here we go. Start here. Yeah. Not bad. And you know these middle ones will be our gems, just because again this is this dough is a little uh, Ugh. it's been hanging out a little while. All right. Hey, you're well, a we'll good do it teacher, again. I gotta say. And you're gonna when you do it the second time, you're gonna find it's gonna go a lot better. I just wanted us to have you know, a couple passes at it. It's a four-minute segment, it. Jan. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll bring the salmon back. All right. <laughs> And, uh, well, you know. Okay. No, not, no, I tried. Got no, you did a great job. You did a great job. We're just going to maybe get in there and kind of. A little assistance there. <laughs> Do a little extra oh, yeah, that. here. So effortless for you, and no. everything's a struggle for me. No. Okay, there. Cool. Now, say you're going to a party and you're like, oh, yeah, I just made these uh, house made ravioli. What right. did you bring? Some, <laughs> some hummus? <laughs> well, I do like hummus. But uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, out of a store, out of a. No, this no, is, a good this way is to how you want to roll. So, um, <laughs> literally. Um, <laughs> So there we have those. And as you continue to do this, remind us, of course, Stock Culinary Goods, who you are, where you're located, what you do. It's great stuff. Oh, gosh. We're on Hope Street uh, in kind of what they call. I'm so sorry. I know. It's like a little battle room <laughs> there. It's always messy there. around Inside me. me. Oh, <laughs> we, uh, we are on Hope Street, which is a really vibrant community of independent stores. In fact, you know, but for CVS, we are all just little people. You know them all. Frog and Toad, Cray Atelier. Um, yeah. Um, there's just so many. It's such a great little strip. And we're up there, too, uh, really, really community-minded. So when we have a, a kitchen store, we really want to make sure that everybody's comfortable coming in, whether sure. you're a novice, say, right. <laughs> or whether you're just kind of an avid cook like me, or the pros. Right. The pros come in, too. A lot of your regulars here come into our store, which is fabulous. Oh, it's awesome. No it's name a great dropping, community Nick. over there. Um, so, yeah, no, it's fabulous. And what we like to do is have, you know, not only do we have kind of your your traditional things, your microplanes, your Le Creuset, all the stuff you would expect in a kitchen store. Right. But we have a lot of things made by local artisans, a ton of things. And that's where our passion is. It really is. We have about 30 seconds here okay. before we wrap up, but we will continue to watch you. We might have even sure. more time. Who knows? I'm getting an urgent message oh from the my control gosh. tower. <laughs> but all um, right. this step right here, what are we doing? Now we're just, ah, now we're just plopping the dough on, I mean, the uh, filling in as, as, you know, we had set up in the last one. We're just going to do it live in the moment. Right. And again, if you have a minute, we're going to let you roll this one out. And then we'll I'm going to let you handle this one because, <laughs> for in the interest of time, okay. we'll be here till 1030 All if right. Brendan no, Kirby. Oh, you did so well. Thank you. You're now a pro. You know, if you ever have a one hour cooking show of your own, I'll come on that one <laughs> and then we'll have something. If you need a one hour cooking show, I'm here. It <laughs> is my passion. I'm not, as all of you can probably tell, a trained chef. You know, I just kidding, love to all cook. All kidding aside, as you do that, you can really taste someone's passion for this in the final product. You know that the, in your case or whomever it is, you can tell when they're really all in. Yeah, yeah. This is, you know, the store started because 
I just want to cook all day long and I want to talk about cooking and I want to hang out with other people who cook and when you have that kind of feeling after a while you just say well geez maybe I should make something out of this yeah you know we used to say every party at our house every vacation we took for 20 years ended up in the kitchen <laughs> and we spent more time you know looking at our ingredient list for our vacation week than our views <laughs> and when when you know that that's who you are you might as well just give into it so that's Embrace what we did it. sure yeah, yeah so see I think you did as well if not a better job oh you're too kind than me see now my dough is so fresh and springy so that it's almost grabbing on but yeah. And people at home watching this, I mean, it's so nice the way you're able to sort of simplify it for them. If they want to try this, like you said, I mean, I could do this and I could dazzle my friends and family, but they really can try this at home, too. Oh, my gosh, yes. You know, pasta dough is the easiest thing in the world. It's really a cup of flour, a cup of semolina flour, two teaspoons salt, two-thirds ounce water, and uh, two eggs. And I think that's it. That's it. You've got to have that in your house. Maybe not semolina flour. But, <laughs> but the rest of know. it, you can, you can roll out. And it takes, I don't know how long we've been here. It took an hour for me to prepare these doughs. Yeah. And here we are. And, you know, if these actually sit for a little bit and let that kind of pasta get a little bit uh, more chewy, right. that's going to go right in the water and be fabulous. Was this love of cooking instilled in you at a young age? Did you always have it? Did you come to it later? I came to it later. Really? I'm Interesting. Gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, didn't, we were not a cooking family growing up. This right. was really, this was almost making up for something where I was just like, I know people cook, I just don't know how, right. so I went after it, you know, the and, way that you do. And we always think it's too late, but the lesson to be learned here that we can glean from this story is that it's never too late to get started in the kitchen. No, oh gosh, no. We have people who come to us who say, you know, I've my whole life I've been a restaurant warrior and now I want to try some things, and we can definitely get them situated. We're not gadget people, we believe in a few good things. I like the sound of yeah, that. Yeah. Well, are, is there anything else we can do? Or are we about ready to wrap up? Or do you have more to work on as we can just leave the kitchen to you? Yeah, no, I definitely have more to work on. All I right. want to get she's, the salmon back over here. She's going to work on some more. Hopefully by the end of the show we have a nice visual of the final product. Absolutely. And then after the show, I'll sample. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, this my is pleasure. Jan Faustain. She is from Stock Culinary Goods over there on Hope Street great little community you'll want to check them out you'll want to try this recipe at home and you can get it it's so easy you can get so it at roadshow.com